Hello. Hello, I'm Santosh Kumar. Now, I'm going to explain the concept of geometry. It's a familiar concept. In geometry, we can discuss dot. As you say, it is dot and it can be called as point. A point actually contains coordinates. If a point is in two dimensional, then it contains two coordinates. Those are x coordinate and y coordinate. That means x comma y. The first coordinate can be called as x coordinate and the second coordinate can be called as y coordinate. If this point lies in three dimensional uh, space, then it contains three coordinates. That means x, y, z. Here x is first coordinate and y is second coordinate and z is third coordinate. Apart from this concept, now coming to a simple concept, point. The collection of unlimited points is nothing but a line. The collection of unlimited points is nothing but a line. This is the definition of line. Now, the property of line. What is the property of line? A line can be extendable in both the directions. How can we name a line? We can name a line by taking any two points on the line. Here I'm taking A and B, two points. So we can name this line as AB line. This is line. Uh, if we take another some other points C and D, we can call this line as CD or AB or AC or TB or CB anything else so how can we call a line we can call a line by taking any two points on the line the property of line is it can be extendable on both the directions uh, if the line has certain boundaries that is nothing but line segment it can't be extendable so it is the starting point A and it is the ending point B a line doesn't contain the starting point and the ending point but a line segment can contain the starting point and the ending point it can be denoted a b r it is nothing but line segment a b it is line segment the next concept is one point through one point how many lines can we draw we can draw unlimited number of lines through one point we can draw unlimited number of lines like this we can draw unlimited number of lines through one point if we take two points how many lines can we draw through these two points we can draw only one line by connecting the two points so through two points we can draw only one line the points on the same line are nothing but collinear points. Uh, take an example A, B, C and D. Here A and D are on one line. So A and D are collinear points and A and B are one line. So A and B are collinear points. Here B and C are on one line. So B and C are collinear points. So by this we can observe that any two points are always collinear. Any two points always collinear. So coming to three points. Uh, if if I took three points like this then the three points are collinear points the points lie on same line are nothing but collinear points collinear points lying on same line are nothing but collinear points here a b c d here ABC are collinear points, but D is not collinear. 
two points always collinear if three points like this these are also collinear but if point, three points are like this then these are not collinear through these three points we can't draw a single line at least through two two points we can draw lines so that's why we can form a closed figure here now we need to know what is a closed figure and what is an open figure a closed figure is nothing but which has closed in all the directions it is a closed figure come to this one it's not a closed figure uh, we can go inside like this uh, we can't go here and there is no way to go inside here it is a way to go inside so closed figure closed in all the directions an open figure can be opened in any of the directions so we need to derive define two figures closed and open I think uh, you observe the difference between closed and open figures and this is a closed figure and this is an open figure we can go inside like this we can't go inside here so this is a closed figure and this is an open figure you need to know again the different concept simple figure and complex figure a simple figure is like this a complex figure is like this it's clumsy I have overlapping of this here no overlapping so now you are aware of simple and complex figures and closed and open figures now I want to define a polygon what is a polygon? a simple closed figure with more than two sides is nothing but polygon because uh, with two sides we can't form a polygon we can't form a closed figure at least so a simple closed figure with more than two sides is nothing but polygon the name suggests that poly means many a gone means sides a figure which contains many sides is nothing but polygon the correct definition is a simple closed figure with more than two sides is nothing but a polygon more than two greater than two okay now we can take the number of sides uh, number of sides as n then if n is equals to three because three is more than two so if n is equals to three we can form three sided figure that is nothing but a triangle a triangle is a three sided figure we need to know about triangle now so a triangle a triangle contain three sides ok three sides and it contain three angles three angles and it contain three vertices three vertices three sides three angles three vertices what is the definition of triangle a simple closed figure with three sides is nothing but a triangle coming to the properties of triangle a triangle contains three sides three angles three vertices the major important property is that the sum of three angles all three angles of a triangle must be equal to 180 degrees it is a major property if it violates this property then there is no triangle the sum of all three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees the another important property is the sum of any two sides of a triangle
must be greater than the third other side okay it is also an important point the sum of any two sides of a triangle must be greater than the third side the other side that means see here it is a vertex a it is vertex b and it is vertex c the opposite is a here a is nothing but the length of the side bc the opposite of vertex b is b it is nothing but the length of side ac the opposite to the vertex c is c it is nothing but the length of the side ab now we are aware of sides a b c this property says that a plus b is greater than c b plus c is greater than a and a plus c is greater than b Similarly, we can define another property a minus b is less than c, b minus c is less than a, c minus b is less than b, c minus a is less than b. Okay. Here are minus minus difference. Okay. Now. It is triangle three vertices and is three sides now we go into define angle what's an angle to know about angle we need to know about ray what is ray which has a starting point but not ending point this is nothing but ray how can we call a ray contains starting point and not ending point so we can define any point on the ray so that we can call it as AB or AC anything else it is ray what is angle the union of two rays is nothing but angle here we can form an angle it is angle by connecting two rays with same starting point we can get angle in between that the measurement of angles how can we measure an angle what is the unit of angle the unit of angle degrees radians gradients in different systems like that most probably we use degrees here now we can define the angle as uh, the union of two rays now we have to discuss types of angles types of angles what are the different angles the first acute angle an angle which has the measurement less than 90 degrees this is nothing but an acute angle and right angle an angle